more Diddy stuff. Diddy, um, <laughs> Diddy do it. Diddy, <laughs> Diddy do it. There's a lawyer that has gathered several new accusers to come after Diddy, and there's something that he said that kind of stood out to me. And I want you guys to see what he said and let me know. Now, what I know you this. Think. Many of you came here. Many of you came here thinking or hoping or perhaps uh, believing that I may start naming names. Well, that day will come, but it won't be today. The day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs, and there's a lot of names. Um, it's a long list already. And of course, I already know who some of these individuals are, but because of the nature of this case, we're gonna make sure, sure that we're right before we do that. Uh, but the names that we're going to name, assuming that our investigators confirm and corroborate what we've been told, are names that will shock you. These are individual cases. There are indeed other perpetrators involved. They will be revealed when that particular individual case is ready to be filed. Mm. They already know who they are. And I'm talking here about not just the cowardly but complicit bystanders. That is, those people that we know watched this behavior occur and did nothing. And I'm talking about the people that participated, encouraged it, egged it on. They know who they are. I call them the facilitators of foul play, willing participants in vile conduct. As we identify them, each will be part of this case as defendants. These defendants will not only include individuals, but would also include corporate entities who ultimately profited off of this culture and behavior. I'm looking at banks, pharmaceutical companies, hotels. We know that many of these individuals were paid cash. We know mm, that, wow. that many of these individuals involved, whether they were the ones being assaulted and abused or they're witnessing other people being assaulted and abused and then paid and threatened and told to leave. Typically paid 10 grand in cash and told to leave and then threatened as they were leaving. So in addition to Sean Combs, you should know the defendants in these cases we're gonna file will include anyone, of course, who engaged in the assault or exploitation, anyone who participated in such in any way, anyone who encouraged or facilitated this conduct, anyone who was in the room and watched it happen but made no effort to stop it, any venue or venue owner who was aware of what was going on but failed to stop it, any individual or entity who knew about the conduct and benefited from it but did nothing to report it or stop it, and any individual or entity who covered it up or helped cover it up. These people who know who they are should just come forward now. I would imagine as we speak here there are a myriad of people who are very nervous you can't hide skeletons in the closet forever. Mm. I would expect there are many people out there right now who are, who are desperately searching their memories as they <laughs> delete their texts and data. Mm. All right, so I want you to, when you have time, listen back to what he said, but instead of looking at it as, ooh, I wonder if they're going to mention this name or that name, I wonder who's squirming in their seat right now, listen back to that as... God saying that to you. Yeah. Mm. Anybody who's involved, anybody who was a bystander, anybody who did this sin or that sin, anybody who did this in the dark, anybody who listen back to it like that. Mm. That wow. felt like a biblical warning to me. Yeah. Wow. Sad facts. I know we're caught up in the Diddy thing right now and it's salacious, but I mean that 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 put a shiver in my spine to be like, man, <laughs> sin is real. Yeah. Yeah. These people thought they got away with stuff. These people yeah. thought that you know, it's you know that's what that's what happens in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That listen, I promise you, go back and listen to it as if it's not about Diddy, but it's about you and your life. Mm -hmm. right. Bring it to the light now, yeah. because if you don't, we're gonna call you out. Damn. Right. That's scary. Yeah, man. First thing come to my mind is the sin of omission. That's what I was still here thinking about. Because he said not only the people who perpet perpetrators who did these things, but the ones who sat back and, and watched watch. these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even the ones who were bribed for their silence. Um, 
You just think, like you were saying, how many times have we been silent when we should have spoken up? How many times have we just ignored something that we probably should have addressed? You know, mm -hmm. how many things have are we struggling with that God has said, hey, you know what I'm saying? So, like you said, it's easy to point the finger and look at their situation, but I'm just like you. When I was listening, I was like, Lord, search my heart. <laughs> yeah. like, Lord, search my heart. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You know I repent now. Yeah. yeah, this whole situation, like as dark as wicked it is, I'm, and I'm feeling sorry for the victims who were involved. Um, but yeah, man, like what Cat Williams was saying, he said, this going to be the year that everything come to the light. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I see from a spiritual perspective, not to be too deep about it, but like you were saying, I think God is saying, like, look, like, it's some things that are coming that you really want to be in, in right stance with God. You should have wanted to be there anyway, but you definitely yeah. want to be in the right stance with God right now because it's almost like when Moses came down the mountain and he was like, choose you this day who you're going to serve. You have folks who said, I'm going to go with the Golden Calf crew. Oh, I'm gonna go over here with God, you know. What I'm saying? And then after that, you know, the Levites they they came through. They don't stand no bitch, you know what I'm saying? So I just I, for real, just like, hey man, like all the things you thought that was cool, you were getting away with the yeah. things that you were taking lightly, and just like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, better. Hey, he didn't just say people; he said companies. Mm -hmm. All you companies who benefited from this, that that. I'm trying to figure out how though. Like how did and how? Venues. I was like the venues? hotels oh, okay. that yeah. knew what was going on oh, in their okay. rooms yeah. and oh. covered it up. Yeah. Paid yeah. paid maids to be quiet about yeah. what they saw. That all they the, paid fifty k to the, bury that Cassie video. The labels, Disgusting. the labels who cover pe for yeah. people because you represent a check for them. Mm -hmm. money, so yeah. they make your cases go away. Wow. But then again, what if we allowed yeah. and kept silent and and yeah. not try to bring to the light as track stars. What have we done at our jobs that we know is ungodly, but you need to check? I was saying, like, apply it to yourself first. Like, that was scary to me. Yeah, we all know some stuff that's just, like, unfortunate. So, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's 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 crazy, man. I mean, I think at the same time, it's... it's I, <laughs> I, think, I think about how many people... Like you said, he said, "Watch." Something about if you if you know how you like voyeur voyeurism. Basically, if you mm -hmm. part of voyeurism, watching uh, somebody get uh, raped or anything like that, then you come into the fire or, too. Or the people who help clean up afterwards, and yeah. you knew what was going on Dang. in there. Ten bands to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, ugh. So your, so your so your silence can be bought. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. and like you seen for us, like yeah. It's yeah. certain things that people might not say because they don't want to look a certain way to a certain group of people. So things that God may be putting on your heart to come out and say, you just mm -hmm. like, I don't want to cause a problem. I want to like, no, nah. you know what I'm saying? Like, or you want it to be successful. Right? Yeah. And you want, and you thought being close to Diddy was your ticket to fame. And you kept things quiet because you're like, this is how it goes. And yeah. I, I, I want, I want to be famous. There's a lot but, of people that do that yeah, on a smaller that. scale. But how many people you think are looking at that and going, he don't got all that. It's a federal case. No, but what I'm saying is... <laughs> I'm saying, they got all that in this song. No, no. This is a civil case, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, this is a civil that, that, That's a civil case. It's two different cases that Puff is dealing with. So that's what I'm saying. How many people are looking back like... You know what I'm saying? Like, you, it, it's not like, oh... It don't matter what people think. It matters, what the people, yeah. it matters what the people that were involved think. Cause, yeah. And if you sitting there squirming knowing if they got a tape on me or they found out that I knew this and didn't say anything, even all the people talking right now, Jaguar Wright, the, yeah. the old boy, yeah. the bodyguard dude, you were there. <laughs> you that didn't part. do nothing to stop it. I feel what you're saying. It's a part. If you ever had to deal with law enforcement, hopefully you haven't. Um, but it's <laughs> one of their tactics is they come in and use a scare tactic. Like, yeah, you know, old boy already told me that you were such and such doing such and such. Yeah. Like, you could do yeah. this the easy way or the hard way. Yeah. yeah. So that it could have been a ploy like that. He may not even have nothing, but he may scare you in a confession. Yeah, you like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Because if you do got something and, and you're scared by that, you don't want to take the risk. What you're going to do is come to him behind the scenes like, look, I did X, Y, and Z. I don't want to be publicly exploited, so what can I do? Yeah, to how much keep, you need? How much you need to sweep this under the rug? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll suffer whatever consequences. I got to suffer behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's some, it's some people behind this stuff. There's a lot of money involved. It's a lot of power stuff. Like, you know, you just don't know what's really going on because you're dealing with evil and the evil people. Mm -hmm. um, so we really don't know what he has. But if you were involved, <coughs> he had definitely got your eyebrows raised. But how, sure. how many people you think 
this is going to really. Do you think Diddy is just going to be the only one taken down by this? Absolutely no. not. He's not going to let that happen. He's going he gonna to snitch on somebody. <laughs> for real. He's going to have to. I'm leaving here for something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from around the way. <laughs> I'm leaving here for something. Hey, Y'all did this with me. Hey, he's going he to tell on somebody. But I, I think, I think like, even going back, I know we, we didn't talk about um, the Jaguar piece, but I feel like she's been saying stuff about stuff for years but, but I think people feel like she's so conspiracy that yeah, they're not credible it it's, yeah. it's a balancing act because you don't want to go into like, if you notice there are some some big names in the Christian world that have been involved in this that you haven't heard us bring up yet Yeah, because it's still yeah. gossip it's still conspiracy once it becomes official, we will be talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I, but there's a fine line of work, walking in gossip. There's some things you just don't yeah, know. It's just yeah, conspiracy. Right. Yeah. yeah. But now it's starting to get solidified. So you have to talk about it now. Like if you're still scared to talk about it, then maybe you need to check your closet too. <laughs> because I, what I see a lot of people doing is, well... I can't call this out because I did oh, that. Yeah, yeah, or I'm yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah. So that's how people skate yeah, by because as long as yeah. they got you with something, mm -hmm. it keeps you silent so yeah. they can continue doing what they're doing. So, Big warning, man. It's a big warning. If you got something, as a believer, you got something going on in your life right now and ain't supposed to be going on, hey, clean it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, but even that, like going towards that, that did he got to stand before a regular judge? That person you talking about got to stand before the king of yeah, kings. King of kings. So, <laughs> so does he. Yeah. That part. I mean, he does, but I mean, his situation is, I think what he, what you, like what you going back to, Sean, the situation is easy to condemn him because he's in front of a physical right. judge. Right. Whereas like us, mm -hmm. every human has got to stand before the Lord and they're not thinking that have way. You, have, you stood, right. have you stood in front of a judge before? Yeah, mm -hmm. I have. That fear of authority that you could act like, oh, I don't, authority, yeah. I don't care about authority. Yeah. When you stand in front of a judge for real, for real, yeah. and I remember standing in front of him, I'm, I'm like, your voice start cracking. You think you hard? Is like, yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. So he hold the key. That authority your start. To, you start yeah. to get a feeling of, oh, that's real authority. This yeah. person has the power to mess your life yeah. up. Mm -hmm. It's times a million yeah. with God. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and that reverence that you should have while you're in, while you're, you know, in the dark places. Yeah. And this is this is why I brought it up this way because normally, you know, we talk about this and it's just celebrity, yeah. celebrity, whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is the verse that was on my mind when I heard it. Um, Luke 12, 2 through 3. For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light. And what you have spoken in um, the ear in inner rooms will be proclaimed on the housetops. So it's just just a warning. Or everything you think you're getting away with or so, it don't matter. A lot of Christian leaders that are like, you get up on stage or you get on a microphone and say, don't do this, don't do that. And you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna come out. Mm -hmm. Ooh we. That's why it's like it, the stuff that we, the stuff that we've dealt with. We say it on here. The reason I know that is because I that was me. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do that yeah. where I would be the leader of some yeah. something, and I'm sitting there doing stupid stuff behind the scenes. It's yeah. like yeah. that conviction. Yeah, that is. Right. That's if right you right. can make it through that conviction and keep doing it, you yeah. you got a serious problem. Yeah. There's something going on with your heart. I hope you, you got to fix it real fast mm -hmm. because. If you could fight through that Holy Spirit conviction and continue to sin, yeah, woo. you're tough. Those who continue <laughs> in sin have not you're have tough. never known me. Yeah. We have to to right. develop the mind of Christ to really understand that our decisions have eternal ramifications. So, like, a lot of people are like really mm. heavy on the grace thing, but I came across a scripture that was like, oh my gosh. So Malachi three sixteen through eighteen. Then those who feared the Lord spoke with each other, and the Lord listened to what they said. In his presence, a scroll of remembrance was written to record the names of those who feared him and always thought about the honor of his name. They will be my people, says the Lord of heaven's armies. On the day when I act in judgment, they will be my own special treasure. I will spare them as a father spares an obedient child. Then you again will see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. Mm -hmm. That's real. I think that was on the backdrop of him being quiet for like 400 years or right before either one. Um, imagine imagine going to church, doing all your, your typical things you do as a quote unquote believer, and God ain't spoken 400 years. Jesus. Like, what are you doing if God ain't speaking? Mm -hmm. you just doing stuff you know how to do. You're just going off repetition and familiarity. Like, God ain't speaking. you just doing We're going to go to church because that's what we do on Sunday. Or we're going to sing worship music because that's what we do as believers. But God ain't yeah. speaking. That's terrible. So we got a question from uh, Karen Hardy. 
What do you all think about law enforcement allowing these things to continue in order to build this case? Yikes, that's well, a whole nother question. Well, I think that's <laughs> that's how um, that's how they make sure they got you. But think yeah. about it. Yeah. Yes. This ain't drugs. It's like lives. Yes. <laughs> okay, how, imagine imagine what some of these um imagine what some of these investigators have had to witness in the process of building this case that they had to they know what he's doing but they have to let another one and another one <laughs> I did not mean that <laughs> I, did, it. I did not mean to do that but they had to let, you know see another victim another victim another victim because they know they need to gather evidence to create this case um again that brings me back there may be a case being built up against you that you think you're getting away with, mm -hmm. but you're being surveilled. Mm -hmm. They tapping your phones. All the sins you think you're getting away with, they're building a case on you. The <laughs> devil is building yeah, a case Yeah, I was about to you. say, the devil does that. He's yeah. the great he, accuser. He's, he's building a case. He has a brother. demonic diary of the things that you're doing and the things he wants to like attack that. you he's with. Say, diary. I like that. He's going to say, hey, Sean, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> he, he's been running track stars for 18 years. He comes on this show and he says all these things, but in, in the dark, he's doing this, this, and this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You still love him? Yeah. Help him. <laughs> you, you still cool with that? And Jesus is like, he's mine. Yeah. Amen. So, Oof. anyway, just, just something to think about. Help us, Lord. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing, too. We were talking about, um, like, demonic stuff before, like the deliverance. Like, if you're trying to cast out demons and oh, you yeah. yourself aren't covered and consecrated, I've heard you. stories that them demons will you. tell your business. It's like, aren't you sleeping with your secretary? <laughs> oh, my dog. You trying to cast me out? My dog said they was in Africa, man, and uh, they were trying they to like, cast a demon out somebody in Africa. <laughs> and the demon was like, what you doing? You a practicing homosexual. <laughs> Yeah, demon. Oh, everybody in the church was looking like. <laughs> Let's regroup. Let's regroup. Let's regroup. Let's regroup. <laughs> I don't know what you talking about. That's not me. That's not me. Yeah, you, need to, you need to fall Yikes. back. Yeah, let's regroup. Yikes. You need to fall Consecration back. is key. Yeah, oh buddy, be gosh. obedient. Playing the wrong game. I know that ain't who I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> you um, talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> 